Aloha, this is a reading for astrological signs, um, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aloha, this is Hawaiian Libra, and I am going to do a reading for you guys. Um, I'll, I'll be using some of my regular cards, and um, please look at the timestamp for your astrological sign. But at the end, there's going to be a bonus reading for fire signs that I have right here. I hope I remember to read it. Please. Okay. Anyways, let's get started with Aries. So Aries, um, oh, before I begin, Aries, sorry. Before I begin the reading, um, I am not a doctor. I am a... Uh, a reader um although i am very clairvoyant this is for entertainment purposes only and this reading is for 18 years and older and please look at the description box if you would like to donate uh, i have rescue bunnies rescue animals and they really need food so please look at my venmo and my paypal um and also my snail mail if you would like to send any donations i would be so appreciative Thank you. Okay, let's start with you, Aries. Okay, let's start with your um, romance, love and romance. So I am going to pull three cards from the bicycle deck for your love and romance. First, let me ask the question. Mahalo, Hawaiian Libra spiritual team. Um, what kind of messages can you give Aries for love and romance? For love and romance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Hawaiian Libra spiritual team. Alrighty. Um, two. Okay, I'm just going to choose this. Very good, Aries. There's like a king of um clubs there's a jack of diamonds and the eight of diamonds and it looks like um you're um for love and romance um there's abundance coming in maybe from a masculine partner see masculine partner here um i see eight of diamonds i see i i see friendship i see um family member as well um giving good advice to you about managing your money um, I see a copy of love. I see, I see a little bit of uh, feminine love, but you see this king of looking towards the jacket. It's like a father and son or a divine masculine, just teaching family, teaching you how to how to save your money, how to spend it, and giving you pointers on how to invest in your money. It's a divine masculine energy here. Um, also, the messages that I was getting for you while I was meditating on, for you, Ari, um, Aries, was balance. Like, you need someone like this to give you advice for balance um, in your love and romance um, department. And this person may be just telling you, like, when you go out, dress nice. You know, when you go out and... Sorry, this is supposed to be for love and romance, not for abundance. But sometimes they interplay with one another um you know and spend on the lead like someone is um just say like coaching a divine masculine um even divine feminine like how to spend your money or on your family or your loved ones like but um this is i think this is mainly a copy of love yeah okay let's do um love and romance three cards from the little man um god of light and truth and goddess of light and truth hawaiian libra spiritual team can you please um, share more messages for our astrological site Aries for love and romance, please? Show me three cards. Okay. Three cards popped out. Okay, so right here, um, right here, this is like, over oh, right here, seven of clubs, spades, seven of spades. Okay, so there's a letter here right here and it's sealed and it feels like it's important uh this is for money money and um money and um finance also when i was meditating on you guys for the dms divine masculine uh, i'm just going to give you the real to you you need to take responsibility stop playing the blame game and for your actions and also um 
Oh, another, yeah, that's what I got for the DMs, the Divine Masculine Aries. Okay, Divine Feminines, you guys are, you know, you guys are rocking and rolling. Um, You're gifted, too, and very intelligent. So here's a letter. It could be letter about bills or getting another stimulus check or getting, getting an inheritance. It depends, whatever resonates with you, because it will resonate different with the DMs and the DFs. Okay, six of um clubs. It, uh, this is like a um for you Aries. There's this long number thirty six is a lucky number, but it's gonna be a long journey. But you're also learning from this journey. Okay, this is uh Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades. Um, this is like a playful spirit. I'm getting thirteen. Thirteen is a lucky number. Don't, this is a myth, you guys, that's saying that this is unlucky. This is, uh, there's like luck coming in your way with money and finances. It just hasn't come into fruitation yet, but it is if you listen to your family advice about how to organize this money. Okay, so this was um, love and romance. Um, sorry, that's love and romance, and this is um supposed to be money and i get i think it's intertwining with the money and the um the money and the abundance okay it's intertwining with the love and with your family members loving you and showing you you know telling you hey this is how much money you should spend this you know kind of like that um let's do so we kind of did money and romance already using that so let's do health and healing that's why I gotta label everything. Um, it's like my ADD kicks it, um, kicks in or something. Okay, let's do health and healing. Thank you, thank you, spiritual team. What else can you tell us for health and healing for Aries? Thank you. Oh, three cards. Okay. So, okay, Ani Ani mirror health and healing so some of you are like looking in the mirror um trying to use facial cleaner cleansers to wipe out the wrinkles you know you care about how you look and you want to present yourself and then this one um health and healing is blowing a whistle kaho kio it's just like a warning like a warning sign to stop drinking stop smoking too much pakalolo or um for some of you that um smoke marijuana <laughs> i mean it is medicine okay i'm not a doctor or anything like that i'm not a medical doctor but it's just like a warning whistle like like how much you drink and like warning signs with your health and then kalapaki some of you are starting a new family some of you may be pregnant or some of you may be um you know finding healing with family members Okay, so that was um, your health and healing. And then um, I'm just going to do the Game of Thrones cards. And this, gonna be a, this is going to be an overall reading for you, Aries, okay? Overall reading for you. Mahalo, mahalo, God of light and truth and goddess of light and truth. What else messages can you tell us for the sign, um, fire signs? Oops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think, oh, three cards already came out. Okay. Right on. Okay, so overall reading is the Empress you got. And the Magician and the Ace of Cups reverse. Okay, so... It just seems like Aries, you want more. It's never, it's never good enough. You always want more. You want the, the, you want a certain kind of partner, and then you get tired of them, and you want a certain kind of job, and you get tired of the job, or uh, you get tired of certain situations, and it's just like your cup is never filled enough. And it's great to be ambitious because you are a fire sign. Yeah, it's great to be ambitious, but um. Like, be grateful for what you got right now, you know? Great, Be grateful. Um, look at the good things that your partner gives you right now. Look at the good things that your family gives you. Yeah? I mean, 
you have family. I'm getting that for you, Aries. You have a lot of family members that love you and care for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this back. Okay, that was for Aries. Now, 10, 11, we're going to get into... Um, next one is Leo. So, Leo, 10, 11. Okay, Leo, so we're going to start, um, I'm going to do, let's see, let's start with the bicycle cards, three of them, and then um, I'm going to do Moonology for you, and I am going to do um, the energy card for you, okay? Mahalo, 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 God of light and truth and goddess of light and truth. What else can you tell us, what can you tell us, Hawaiian Libra um, spiritual team? What can you tell us for Leo's astrological sign Leo for love and romance? Anything for love and romance? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love and romance for Leo. Um, oh yeah, I for I forgot to even tell you guys that this is a reading for um the rest of March and April. Okay. For the rest of March and April. Okay, Jack of Spades and Two of Diamonds and Four of Spades. Okay, so Jack of Diamonds um is like a masculine and um I mean sorry, Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades, excuse me, Two of Diamonds and Four of Spades. Okay, there, yo, there is um something going on with money there is a partnership i guess with a um another person but there's also some conflict with how much you spend um there's some conflict in the love and it always has for some reason is intertwining with money like money problems during this time there's just some conflict with us in a dm uh divine masculine or you are that divine masculine there's just some miscommunications okay Let's look at for your love and romance. Um, let's look at a little bit because it's intertwining for you fire signs. Uh, money and love is intertwining. Let's look at um, what you have for the Moonology cards. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What else can you tell us for um, Leo's? Okay, three cards pull out here okay so step out of your comfort zone north node i think that's what you gotta do um leos get out of the ego is the egotism and and do something different um when i was meditating on you guys i got traveling some of you may be traveling and are very gifted and a lot of you need to take a break sometimes yeah too but it's also good to take out of step out of your comfort zone, like what it like you're doing, like what is commanded of you, and just getting out of and getting creative. And then um you guys got communication is a key, see? So this clarifies this. Like there's some kind of in your love and romance or significant other, or even if you're single with family members, there's some kind of communication that's not happening here and new moon in gemini and there needs to be um clear communication with your partner yeah so that you can work together it's a, that's why it's called a partnership it's so that you guys can work efficiently and effectively if you especially if you have children surrender to the divine full moon surrender to the divine and i guess this is just saying you know um take all your lift up all your problems to a higher and greater power than you um okay let's do health and healing using the energy cards okay mahalo 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 thank you god of light and truth and goddess of light and truth um what can you tell us for um leos what kind of messages can you tell us hawaiian libra spiritual team for leos in their health and healing um for march and the, for the rest of march and april
Okay, patience. Yeah, Leo, patience in, with your health and healing. Like, some of you may be having high anxiety. Okay, the temple path. Um, yeah, healing, going on vacation, traveling, going to your favorite spiritual places where, you know, you gain knowledge and power. Sorry for that circle thing with the light. Maybe I should just turn it off or turn it to another color. Okay, I'm going to try and make it dimmer. Or I'm going to turn it off. Okay, is this better? So the temple sorry the temple um path yeah going into that spirituality and then right here is broken heart like um for health and healing someone may have broken your heart i don't know if it's the past or if it's the present but whatever your situation is leo i am giving you so much love and so much energy for you to i know you'll get back on your feet i know you'll get back on your feet you always do leo your sign always does. Okay, so that's 16, uh, 13. I'm going to get into the next astrological sign now. Uh, when is a pencil? Okay, 1623 now. Okay, 1623, Sagittarius. Let's get into Sagittarius now. Okay, Sagittarius. So when I was meditating on your energy, um, I got playfulness and that you follow through. to You try and follow through. Oh, no. It's advice for you to follow through to what you say you're going to do. Okay? So if you say you're going to um, uh, make it for your kids' basketball team, um, basketball game, make sure you make it. Even though you're late, make sure you're, you make it to his his game as much as possible do what you can okay um okay so i'm going to do i guess i'm going to do the bicycle cars with you guys to like how i did with um aries i'm just gonna go with what spirit is telling me is best okay so we're gonna do the bicycle cards for you i mean sagittarius um for love and romance okay for love and romance sagittarius for sagittarius hawaiian libra spiritual team what kind of messages can you give for sagittarius for the month of for the rest of march to the month of april thank you thank you thank you knock on the cards okay three cards okay kahi lua and kolu okay <clears throat> you guys got the king of clubs the nine of diamonds and the eight of spades okay so for love and romance it's just like all these dms divine masculine out here um so someone may like you and maybe giving you money and um they may have positive communication with you because you're just like this attractive outgoing person See, for all of you fire signs, it's just, it's just like money intertwines. It should intertwine with love and romance. And it does affect love and romance. But it's like um, really, really, some of you really depend on this money in your relationships. But it, um, I feel like you're just a friendly person and you gravitate around people and people just want to give you abundance. Okay, um... Now I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do a mixture. Um let's see. They're telling me to do the moon cards, Sagittarius, because there's times when you get into your emotions quietly to yourself. Um Hawaiian spiritual team, what can you tell um Sagittarius? Um let's see. <clears throat> for their um I guess for their money and abundance. Yeah, for their money and abundance during the month of March and April. Okay. Okay, here it's the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, so it's been a tough. You may have moved here and there. Um, it's been the um, but it's ending now, and there's going to be some stability for you, um, Sagittarius. 
have faith in your dreams so you have goals that you want to achieve just have faith in them um sagittarius and then here is um you're very close to achieving your goal i mean you're very focused right now um sagittarius which is really really awesome okay so i am going to use for sagittarius i'm going to be using the um our angel gabrielle for your health and healing okay so what else kind of messages can you give for our sagittarius um hawaiian libra spiritual team for this present time till april thank you thank you thank you okay let's see <clears throat> okay so we got vulnerability listen to your vulnerable feelings as they contain wisdom and inspiration and then pray for search strength to focus on your priorities no matter what so some of you may feel insecure in um doing a job it, it affects your health you know these feelings affect your organs okay but um prioritize you know and maybe it's the shape of your body that you're or you know you're you feel like you gotta lose weight or something like that yeah we're um you not to worry you know it'll you'll get there you, you'll find some ways Sagittarius happy news your prayer is answered in a creative way so maybe you're looking for creative ways to exercise like go hiking and fishing and all those kinds of things and getting the energy sensitivity your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity so like you may be writing songs or lyrics or poetry or books and that's going to help you with your creativity and help you with your health and healing okay fire signs let's look at the bonus reading for you guys a general energy for you guys so you guys got allow yourself to receive open your arms to welcome the blessings and answer prayers that god is sending you okay be happy to receive Right here is um, a daily practice. The more you practice your new skills, the more comfortable and confident you are becoming. If you guys are an artist and you're practicing a new skill or even like painter or sewing or writing, uh, especially writing, I get, I get that some of you guys are writers and poeters and songwriters. Daily practice is needed, yeah? Because it's going to help you in all areas of your life. Detox time. Release toxins from your body, mind, and and diet. Okay. So um, maybe like instead of um, two cups of wine, two glasses of wine before you go to sleep. Maybe cut it down to one glass of wine. Yeah. And then um, this one is Law of Attraction. Keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations. And you will attract more positivity into your life. Watch your circle of friends. Yeah, who you, are, who you hang out with. Receptivity. Uh, or pros sorry, prosperity. Prosperity. Your actions have resulted in incoming and ab abundance. So uh, many of you have been fire signs. You guys are go-getters. And this is the outcome okay high priestess um our angel haniel powerful psychic insights reflection and meditation that provides valuable information be at peace okay you guys are at the high priestess and that's what you want right now you want peace for yourselves okay the magician our angel raziel you can manifest the life you want what you need will magically appear successful beginning yeah you can manifest a lot of things a lot of things fire signs you are the fire signs you guys are the innovators the creators the go-getters okay just take some time to meditate and visualize your goals two of gabrielle make hope bold okay and ambitious goal choices great progress is possible important relationships with people who share your vision once you hang out with people that share your vision then this partnership can um this dual partnership can can happen and um you see the angel the rainbow it the tools are here you just gotta grab it 
Nine of Raphael, fire signs. Make a wish, dream, dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. This is a joyful time in your life right now, right now. So this guy right here is rubbing a lamp. Yeah, wish for it, all the things that you want. And it can happen for the highest good only, yeah. Okay, fire signs. Thank you so much for joining my um, channel. Like and subscribe and press the notification button. Aloha vau ya oko. Sending you so much love. Sending you so much blessings for love and romance. Sending you for the highest blessings and and just want you to win as well. Money and, and money and romance and health and healing. Aloha vau ya oko. Aloha.